Hello and welcome in this video for this exercise given during the China Junior Math Olympiad. And this exercise is this one. X, Y and Z are positive integers. So you want to solve the system. X, Y plus X, Z equals 63. And the second equation is X, Z plus Y, Z equals 23. And you want to find out the values of x, y, and z verifying the system. So if you want to give a try, please pause the video. Otherwise, let's see the solution. You've got a system to solve. So this is always interesting when you've got a system to solve when you've got the same terms. You've got y, z, the same term, on these two equations. So one idea could be to subtract, for example, equation number one and equation number two. If you do that, terms in y, z are going to disappear. But think about that. 63 minus 23, you're going to end up with 40. And this is much better if you end up with a prime number. So we're not going to do that. Speaking of prime number, we just noted that 23, this is a prime number. And if we look on the left part, we can factor by z. So we are going to do that. So we focus on the second equation and we end up with z times x plus y equals 23. And 23, this is a prime number. So only two possibilities. This is 1 times 23 or 23 times 1. x, y, and z are positive integers. What does it mean? That means that x plus y equals or greater than 2. Well, that means that x plus y equals 23. And z, this is 1. Now, thanks to this equation, we are going to express y function of x. And this is y equals 23 minus x. So now we're done with equation number 2 we are going to be back with equation number one. Equation number one, we see we can factor by y. So let's do that. y times x plus z equals 63. We know the value of z, and instead of y, we can write down 23 minus x. So, now we're going to distribute and we've got 23x minus x squared plus 23 minus x minus 63 equals 0. So we are going to do the math. So and we end up with negative x squared plus 22x minus 40 equals 0. So now we're going to multiply by negative 1 on both sides. And we end up with x squared minus 22x plus 40 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation. We are going to calculate the discriminant to calculate then these two roots. So the discriminant, this is negative 22 squared minus 4 times 1 times 40, and this is 484 minus 160, and this is 324. And this number is 18 squared. So root number 1, this is 22 plus 18 over 2, and this is 40 divided by 2, and this is 20. And the second root is 22 minus 18 over 2, and this is 4 divided by 2, and 
you end up with two. So now we are going to calculate uh, the values for y thanks to this equation. So we've got two values for x. So x could be 2 or 20. So we've got two values for y. First one, this is y1 equals 23 minus x1. x1 is 20, so 23 minus 20, so this is 3. Then the second value for y, this is 23 minus x2, x2 is 2, 23 minus 2, this is 21. So now we've got two solutions, 2, 21, and 1, and the second solution is 20, 3, and 1. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.